uh, I mean, the West has uh, uh, branded people like Milosevic as, uh, as international uh, terrorists, but whereas they have kept silent on Prabhakaran, who's been responsible for uh, killing of uh, 60,000 civilians, you see, and he is an international terrorist and he should be brought, uh, he should be brought before the international tribunal as uh, for crimes against uh, humanity, for the crimes he has committed against. Uh, Mr. Dr. Nithyanandan made a comment about uh, objection to your introduction. In fact, I also got objection in, the, in the saying that it's the energetic Tamils who held all the position. But where it was not the case, that all the schools were in the north and the Sinhala people were deprived of place in the civil service and right up to 1948, uh, we must get the fag uh, figures right, the Tamils are, there are two kinds of Tamils in Sri Lanka, the Jaffna Tamils which are, who are in the north and then the Indian estate workers who were brought by the British to work in the tea estates. Now these are two distinct groups in the sense that although they speak the same language, the same culture, there's no mixing of the two groups because the Tamils in the north classify them as caste, uh, low caste Indians and in fact the, yeah. the leader of the Indian Tamils, Mr. Thonderman, is a member of the present cabinet. He's a member of parliament and a member of the cabinet. And they have, the Indian Tamils have disassociated themselves completely with this separatist claim. Now, do you think the kind of solution the president offers, banning Tamil parties, is the answer? In fact, actually, uh, the, the call for separatism is absurd. It's like asking uh, just because a group of Indians live in South Hall uh, to say that South Hall must be with, independent. With, with respect but to Mr. Vikramarat, I must come in here because uh, it is not uh, separation we are asking now. Prior to the British rule... Uh, we You're were not asking for separation? Prior to, uh, prior to the uh, British rule, British occupation, we were as two separate kingdoms. The Tamils had their own kingdom, the Sinhalese people had their own kingdom. Only the British in 1833 amalgamated these two groups into one unity for administrative reasons. Mr. All, Ricardo, all is that true? All it's not true. In it, fact, it is in uh, fact Sri Lanka has I, I been think independent single kingdom I think for over 2,500 years. I think, Mr. I think that, is, that, is a, that is a historical fact I think that Mr. Uh, right no kind of manipulating with the history can uh, disprove that. I think Mr. Say? Because at this very moment, I want to concentrate on the racial riots that is happening in Sri Lanka at this very minute. No, there, there is culture, there is genocide going on. And uh, the, the cultural genocide started a few years back. Yes, but can it we just come to the point? Is it not, is not the cause of this very largely that the Tamils appear to be wanting to cut uh, Sri Lanka in two and demand their own separate state? W what do you expect when there is complete di uh, discrimination I between, I the, must, I between, the, between the between the Tamils and the Sinhalese? In fact, in fact, if I can point out, if I may, today, if you look at this, this uh, the Tamils who say about discrimination, today in, in England, the High Commissioner is a Tamil. In, yeah. in, in, can in I, France, can I, can I come back? Let, let, let me play. Let in France, it's a Tamil. In Germany, it's a Tamil. In Singapore, it's a Tamil. In China, it's a Tamil. In Indonesia, it's a Tamil. In fact, uh, most of the prominent places are still, even today, occupied by Tamil. In fact, the, the Inspector General of Police of Sri Lanka, Mr. Rudra, Rudra Rajasingham, is a Tamil. Below him, the six Deputy Inspector General of Police are all Tamil. Now, the, the, the point is that the Tamils occupy a privileged position in Sri Lanka. I, I want if the Tamils continue to act like that, and that is not to give up the fight for separate state, how do you think the Sinhalese will react to that? I think that uh, the Sinhalese uh, would not only Sinhalese, most of the ma majority of the Tamils themselves are against this theory of a separate state. In fact, the, on your program you have shown a map which shows about two-thirds of Sri Lanka being claimed by, two-thirds of the coastline of Sri Lanka being claimed by the Tamils for a separate state. Now, 10% of the Tamils are claiming on racial grounds a separate state, while ex uh, exclusively for Tamils in the north, while the rest of the people, the Tamils, about a million of them, live in single areas. Now, on all logic, that is uh, incorrect. That's an unjustifiable demand. So, so would you say then that if they were to carry on like that, the Tamils, it would be provocative to the Sinhalese? Uh, it, it would be, and also I think uh, the Tamils themselves, Tamil leaders, have realized that this is not an uh, uh, enviable thing, that uh, they cannot carry on uh, the struggle. And they they the Sinhala community feels betrayed. They, they, they know that this is a complete sellout and that uh, they are aggrieved that they have not been consulted on this at all. And it must be understood uh, at the beginning itself that the agreement is between an aging president of Sri Lanka who has, uh, who's frightened, who's, who's scared of the electorate, who has not consulted the constituency or the cabinet or the parliament and the agreement is between him and Rajiv Gandhi who got his own problems in India and uh, with the Sikh separatism, a man who has condemned separatism, 
And here he comes to Sri Lanka, insists that Sri Lanka should agree to an, uh, come to a settlement with uh, Tamil terrorist movement. And now for the first time he's admitting, yes, we have been harboring them, we have had the training camps in, in South India, on Indian territory, and that we are prepared to disarm. To Wickramaratna, the major sticking point as far as the Sinhalese are concerned is the dividing up of Sri Lanka. It's now being divided into the north and eastern region, separate from the rest of Sri Lanka. What's your view about that? Well, I think uh, the, the government has no mandate whatsoever to do this. What they have done is the, the northern region is almost 100% Tamil. Uh, although there were 20,000 Sinhalese living in the north, they have all been expelled from the north by the Tamil terrorists by 1979. And then the eastern region, where the Tamils are a minority, and uh, they are only about 35% of the population, and uh, the, the Sinhalese and the Muslims together outnumber the, uh, the, the Tamils. But what has happened is the president has given into this question of a, of a homeland. Uh, I mean, we all know the Tamil homeland is in South India. But apart from that, they, are, they have granted suddenly the eastern region without consulting the people of the east or the people of the country. Do you see the sovereignty of Sri Lanka at risk? Of course, because uh, they've already allowed Indian troops to come in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the, the negotiations are done over the heads of the Sri Lankan people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there is no question of the Sri Lankan acceding to a, a situation like this. Uh, where India plays the key role. India, the superpower, dictates to us what should be done. Right. So um, you're, you have no confidence in the peace of keeping force that Mr. Wickramaratna has mentioned has now gone into Sri Lanka? There's no other alternative. Because if you see how Premadasa, Prime Minister, Atharad Muji never took part in this accord, there's bound to be violence. Do you have confidence in this, this peacekeeping force that's there at the moment? I think it should be a must. Mm. In order for the boys may consider uh, laying down the arms. Just finally, what's your proposals for a peacekeeping solution? Well, one, uh, one thing is certain. We, uh, no country can c surrender to terrorism. And this is what has happened in Sri Lanka now. So we have, uh, from the outset, to have a permanent solution, we would have to eradicate terrorism from Sri Lanka. Uh, betrayed our independence by allowing India to dictate terms. Now, there are conditions attached where Trincomalee Harbour and, and uh, the Colombo Harbour cannot be used by any foreign power and uh, India has effectively gained control of Sri Lanka and we do not want our country to be a satellite state of India. It is quite possible that there are certain uh, number of mushroom groups that have uh, uh, sprouted recently and uh, they have all uh, of the same opinion that they have no way of expressing their uh, distaste to what the government has done and the only way of overthrowing the government would be by violent means. He must take the views of the people into consideration and uh, he cannot dictate to the people. And uh, one must remember, I mean, he's an aging president and these uh, solutions are supposed to last uh, uh, for the future of our country. And uh, so uh, a, a solution like that cannot be dictated by one man. King Peace. I think we have heard this story before. The Tigers had uh, promised peace quite a few times and every time this is a ploy to for them to strengthen their positions. I can't see uh, the Sri Lankan army forever uh, uh, waiting in, in the barracks and some, something would uh, come out of this in the sense that it could lead to a big bloodbath and uh, we, we have to make sure that the Indian peace force is out of the country. We cannot trust the Indians to keep peace in that land because they are the ones who funded the, the terrorist organizations, they are the ones who provided the, the, the terrorist bases in South India. So we have no, I mean, they are not, uh, uh, they have been a party to this attempt to destabilize Sri Lanka. TTE, the Tamil Tigers, has done this over and over again by massacring a whole lot of innocent women, children, Sinhalese villages very recently, which happened right through this awful 10 years. It, that is the foreign minister speaking. Let's move on to your point. Our foreign Phil. minister, you mentioned the foreign minister yes. speaking. Yes. Do you know the most uh, important word there, the foreign minister of Sri Lanka is a Tamil. And this program deliberately dropped the word Tamil from that because if it was shown to your British viewers, here is a Tamil foreign minister and here the Tamils are talking about we are discriminated, we it don't have a place. It did seem extraordinary that you weren't what prepared to admit that the foreign minister was a Tamil. It's surely rather structural. I don't know that it matters.